Okay, um, as part of this problem, of this chapter rather, um, you're going to really have to get used to manipulating expressions of alpha and beta. And really, what you want to be doing is to getting things into uh, the form of alpha plus beta and alpha beta. They are the things that you know. They're the things that are given. So you need to try and manipulate your way into getting uh, multiples of alpha plus beta and alpha beta so that you can then substitute those values in. So, for example, you might be given that in one particular case, alpha plus beta is 3 and alpha beta is 8. And we want to find 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta, alpha squared beta squared, and alpha squared beta plus alpha beta squared. Okay? We want to find what these would be, would be what the values these would be. So, with this first one, 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta, make sure you're good at adding fractions. Okay? So, cross multiplication, so we're going to have alpha plus beta over alpha beta. So that's coming from the 1 times beta, the 1 times alpha, and the alpha times beta. So now you've got an alpha plus beta and an alpha beta, so that's 3 over 8. So 3 eighths would be the value of that. If you wanted alpha squared beta squared, well that's alpha beta all squared. So that's 8 squared, which is 64. So that would be the value of alpha squared beta squared. And then finally, alpha squared beta plus alpha beta squared. Well, they both have alpha beta in them, so you can take that out as a factor, and inside you would have alpha plus beta. So actually we've got alpha beta, which is 8, multiplied by alpha plus beta, which is 3, so that's 24. And that's how we can manipulate these expressions into alpha beta and alpha plus beta. I'll be going through some more examples uh, in following, the following videos.